straighten you up here. Okay, so like I said, we have, I hope you did well on that first one. Now we're going to do division. All right, with division, you are going to, it's all about canceling it out, okay? So this is your division. Okay, so if we have a look at an example like uh, 14a over 7. Okay, now you know that this line means divide. So it's 14a divided by 7. The first thing we do is to bring our, our um, numbers down to the simplest form. So we say, well, I can go into 14 and go into 7. Well, 7 can. So 7 goes into 14 twice. So we divided that by 7. And if we do that, we're going to divide that by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. The A has nothing, no partners. So our answer now is going to be 2A over 1. Now, very important. If anything is over 1, what is it? It's itself. So we've got 2A is our answer. Okay? Let me show you another one. Um, let's, just so that you can get more of an idea of how we're going. Let me find a good example. Okay, here's one. So say we've got, I'll do it on this side, we've got 15 uh, EF divided by 10F. Okay, so first we look at our numbers. What can go into 5 and 10? Uh, 5 can. So we divide by 5, divide by 5. So 15 divided by 5 would give us 3, and 10 divided by 5 would give us 2. Now, E has nothing, but F and F do. Because we've got one on this side and we've got one on this side, they cancel each other out, okay? So you cancel him and cancel him because he's exactly the same as him. So what are we actually left with? Well, we're left with 3E over 2, and that would be our final answer. Okay, we can't do anything with that one because 2 can't go into 3e. So we leave that as our final answer. So you cancel out the ones that are the same and leave those ones there. So if we're going to write steps in your notes, I want you to say, let me use another color. Okay, I want you to say, simplify the fraction as low as you can. Right, and then cancel out the common variables. So remember we did that there with the F and the F. Cancel out the common variables, and that's it. I want to show you a few things though, so let's just go over the page. Um, remember, first of all, if anything, we'll just put a heart, over 1 is like that. It means the answer is whatever was over 1, okay? Um, always remember that. Whatever the number is, if it's over 1, that's the answer, okay? The next thing, let's do another one. I want to do 78, uh, no, 7MN over 28M, okay? So we say, right, what can go into both of those? Mm, 7. Okay, so we divide by 7, divide by 7. 7 goes into 7 once. 7 goes into 28 three times. No, four times. Oh, goodness me, four times. Okay, now we've got an M and an M, so we can cross those out. So now we are left with equals 1N over 4. Now, we don't ever have a 1 in algebra. Okay, remember we don't see it. So our answer would actually be n over 4. Okay, because we know that that's 1 on its own. So don't show me 1s. I don't want to see any 1s. Just like I don't like seeing the time sign, I don't want to see any 1s. Okay, I want to do another one with you. Negative 16 EF over negative 4 EF. Okay. So we know they're both negative, and a negative and a negative gives you a positive, so we know our answer is going to be positive. What goes into 16 and 4? Well, 4 does. So divided by 4, divided by 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 16 divided by 4 is 4. Perfect. E and E, cancel. 
f and f cancel. What are we left with? Well, we're left with 4 over 1. And remember, anything over 1 is itself, so our answer is 4. Okay, guys, I'd like you to then go on now to the next question, which is number 2 on 3.5. Have a go, come to me and see if you can mark it, and enjoy yourselves. Thanks, eh? Bye!